Come on. Seven Plan, this is the dawn of Aquarius because we got nostalgia with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we're black. And we're here with a fabulous young man, Sean Sikora. Sean Sikora, please give him some love. Welcome to the show. Sean. He's our show's first astrologer that we know of. Um, <laughs> And and just a nice man who has a light that radiates from you. I, I noticed that when I met you the other day. There is a glow that comes from you that's really sweet, really positive and full of energy and light, oh. you know. So it's a pleasure to meet you, my friend. Thank you, Michael. That's welcome to the it's show. It's very receptive. I Thank feel you. the same for you closer and to the mic. and closer to the mic. There you go. <laughs> Of my sound friends, I've I've been a sound editor, and they're going to go. You weren't working the mic, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, thank you very much, Michael. That was very gracious. And same with you. Your thank energy you. is uh, gifts. It's super sweet. For some little bias, we're all Aquarians here. So. Yeah. Oh, what day? What yeah. day for you? Uh, January twenty sixth. January twenty sixth. Sometimes <laughs> different days. Who knows? But <laughs> and, and you're professional <clears throat> astrology, which means you yeah. actually get some money to do this. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. You started in nineteen ninety five. Uh, that was actually my first reading. That was the first reading. Yeah, okay. I had a wonderful, uh, a, a interesting guy at work said, "You have to talk to this lady." And being an Aquarian, I'm like, "I'll try anything twice." You know, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we're open to stuff. And I talked to this uh, lady, Diane Rundgren, and okay. um, just an incredible, gifted person. And she does many things. She speaks at least five languages. Last time I checked, All and right. uh, she did a reading for me. And um, like I suspect with your chart, I have a lot of Virgo energy, which is critical and, and always defining things and working things out with the mind and the okay. hands. And uh, I usually am critical, like I said, and I don't agree with everything when people say right, stuff. Right. I try to keep an old mind. Aquarians like, you got to prove it to me mm -hmm, if I'm going to mm -hmm, change my mind. Mm -hmm. And she just told me all this stuff, and I just uh, I listened to the tape recording. I just kept saying, yes, that's right, yes, yes, wow. I agree, that's what I do. And by the end of no, the ring, I had to do this. I said, I have to learn how to do this. This is so interesting. So you're the real thing. Because some people just give you the general things. They know, like, for instance, people say, well, everybody got an aunt named Shirley. Well, it's like You a, know, you yeah. got an aunt named Shirley. Yeah, yeah, I got an aunt named Shirley. Yeah. I mean, but then some people actually know the real stuff. This. Yeah, well, it's it's infinite and you're always learning I, I think everyone does it themselves in their own way because our chart the way we're born we all have our own style like you're a great comedian but you mm -hmm. do your style mm -hmm. you're true to yourself and that's what I try to be is just be real and um, there's all different you know it's like the Monday morning quarterback it's like yeah I would have right. thrown it over here instead of over there it's like well each each astrologer does it different it's real easy for people to know a little bit but I teach people and I always encourage them whatever you do pick up work it and when you communicate with people or pay attention to your own chart you learn it's just it's a life it goes on forever just like anything in life it's always learning and growing can you can you explain what astrology is well it, it, it's a lot of things it's uh, really it's paying attention to the cycles and and where math came from I mean keeping track of the heavenly bodies and just you know the moon cycle and we they associate that with the women's cycle and nurturing and <clears throat> you know, planting, farmer's almanac. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting choked up yeah, on, on bedroom and plasma. Yeah. Swallowed or something. You can't keep rolling that around like that. That ain't. That ain't. No, I'm just playing with no, you. Now, Aquarius isn't a water on. side, but we always yeah, like to have yeah. the water. Right, right, right. So it's studying cycles, really, and it's kind of math, but now with the computer programs, you have to have kind of an aptitude. But, again, people just look at one thing and they can, you know, uh, the glyphs are a novel. There's so much to them. Uh, everybody can do it on some level. It's like, is everybody breathing? Does everybody understand when you give advice to your friends or you under, you know, you hear someone and you can be a sounding board? At the very least, listening, you get a lot out of it. But, but are a lot of folks into astrology? 
Because oh, I, yeah. I'm old school and I still ask people, hey, what's your sign? They'd be like, what yeah. you talking about sign? Yeah. What sign? <laughs> <laughs> well, some people are into it, some aren't. I mean, uh, but there's still a lot who are into it. Oh, yeah. The oh, yeah. People, the yeah and, people use it and, uh, you know, for entertainment, the sun sign. I'm trying to do a little bit more advanced than sun sign, but it's, it's a challenge because it does get very involved and. You know, if you get into it, you're into it, but it's... It, so what is your degree of accuracy, would you my say? Disc- you, your own opinion. Well, I've never measured my degree, you know. Well, you it's funny when guess. people when people criticize if you're wrong, you know, it's like, well, who's right 100% of the time? Right. I, mean, I, me. I do know, I mean, we'll see if we get into your chart. I just, you know, I'd, hopefully people are happy and they walk away with something. You know, one of those things, if we talk about your charts, or I don't know if we're going to do the weather forecast for everybody, whatever you want to do... Right. Um, you know, have an intention of what you want to talk about, and we'll focus on that, and hopefully you get something out of it. I think people that, you know, if they're laid back and they just want a magic answer, I can't help them. But if you're working your life and doing stuff and you know you know what's happening and you have these different projects, whether it's a day, week, a year, or mm-hmm. longer, I can look at cycles and give you kind of the ebb and flow because everything's you know, has its own path, and I can tell you when it's high points, low points, stuff like that. So I am I think I'm just as accurate as people are open to listen and understand and and be aware of their own life and do it i mean you got here by working it not just going oh sean how do i get to be a comedian you know you (laughs) well actually that's what i did (laughs) yeah okay yeah um that's how accurate i am i and i was right now what's a a natal chart what why natal 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 is um is for a person and that's just basically all all these cycles are going the moon once a month the sun you know goes through all the signs the zodiac everything is going around the zodiac and um, the natal is basically a freeze frame of when you were born uh-huh. by location and time and, the, of course, the date. All right. I knew that. I just thought I didn't see if you yeah, yeah, yeah. on your job. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I really didn't know what the yeah, hell it well, was. Well, everything's a test. I have a great teacher, and once in a while I make a mistake. I'm like, hey, he's just he's just making us learn and checking if we're, you know, checking his work. Uh, oh, well, I see you have Brooks's. Yeah, uh, I have. Let's, <laughs> let's do Brooks's <laughs> chart. That'll be fun. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's okay. see what, what the stars are saying I'll for Brooks. Oh, okay. Um, uh-huh. Well, um, you know, sun sign astrology, we could say, well, Brooks is an Aquarius, and she's really unique and interesting and uh, wants to know a lot of stuff and, and helps people, which is kind of general. For her, we've got an 18-degree sun sign, so that's that's actually the next decant or tenth of the degrees. You, every degree is 30 degrees. Every sign is 30 degrees, excuse me. Okay. So there's a Libra effect to that. So she's kind of a Libran Aquarius, which makes her more beautiful, more it's aesthetically beautiful. pleasing. Yes. Because a lot of Aquarians can be kind of quirky or um, maybe asexual, but she's very beautiful. Mm. So the people born in the middle degrees from 10 to 20, they, again, you divide up the zodiac in many ways, not just the sun sign. Mm-hmm. So and then the last part, the duad, the one twelfth. Wait, the duad? The duad, yeah, that's oh, right. just an abbreviation that the the East Indian um, Vedic Dwadashamsa, I believe, is the pronunciation. Okay. There's different styles. Basically, it's just different forms of math, different accounting. Okay. Everyone, you know, it's like what kind of math do you like to do? What kind of comedy do you? Do? It's just different styles, and I like I like that because the duads they they pick out within a minute. They're pretty picky. I got the Virgo, and um, it I sounds like, like a male. Yeah. Teacher, you got a big old dwad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. So uh, what does her say? Her t- I mean, so her the- dwad is, um, it's just before the, the, the uh, actually, yeah, it's just before the Aquarius. So it's, um, oh, freeze, I can remember, uh, Libra, uh, help me out. So it's Taurus. Oh, so you both guys have a kind of a, oh, excuse me, it's, um, uh, I would usually get the dwads. Or, Take your time. Yeah, right? I had it written down, but anyways, it's funny. I teach a class on the duads. So you go Gemini. Oh, it's before Leo. Okay, it's Virgo. I'm sorry. So she's Gemini and Virgo. Mm-hmm. So that's um, communicative. And the Virgo, it's very active in the Mercury. So you kind of cross-reference, and it, it ties into um, the thought patterns, how we give and take information. So Aquarians do that naturally. But you're even better at it than most. You're probably in the – She's the, better the at Gemini. what? She's better at, at what? At communicating. And Gemini is like – the. They, they're one of their gifts is keeping everyone calm. So no matter how crazy gets, you know, it's not crazy now, so she's kind of quiet. But when it gets when it gets crazier, she's probably she'll give a little smile or you know a little touch or pat on the back and kind of mm-hmm. ease people. So she's a nice diffuser. Okay. And then the Virgo is she sees the de- the details and stuff, and she's she has a great uh, form of critique. 
But that's that's enough about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's let's get to me. Is that too what, personal? What, okay. Yeah. What, what's happening? No, that with was me? perfect, actually. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Because you also because we only got like two minutes, so I want to. Okay. Wanna, okay. Yeah, let's get back what, 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 what they say about me over there? Well, well, ding. <laughs> and wait, and while you were talking and trying so to figure fun. it out, you yeah. say it under your breath. Yeah, what I say? Help me out. Who the hell was you yeah. talking to? Then oh, I got my, my my better half, Nancy's always uh, giving me some input. Oh, but yeah. she couldn't hear from way over there. Yeah. Okay, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, Nancy, uh, big shout out. Okay, all right. Yeah, once in a while, you know, parents, we get a brain freeze. We're thinking of so many things. It's good to stay focused. Okay, all right. Uh, so your sign is... Uh, you're also an Aquarius, but again, to go a, a little bit, a layer deeper or so. You're See, a, you're baby, you hear what he yeah, said? Deeper. <laughs> I go a layer deeper. <laughs> Big Edward. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So your uh, your son's, uh, the hers was 18 degrees and yours is 21. You just look at the sun right there. It's either okay. 21 yeah, and hers yeah. is 18. So your with re, uh, respect to the Zodiac, you were born just a couple days later, so she can look at you. The Zodiac kind of looks forward, so she can really figure you out, and it's hard for you to figure her out because you got to kind of look over her shoulder, so she's got to That's what I'm you. saying. I can't figure yeah. out what the hell is going on. Oh, this is good. This guy's good. <laughs> you're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks. And you are you are the full uh, Libra. I'm sorry. I made her. She was a Jedi. You're a Libra Dwad, so that's a... Oh, that's an indicator of, of balance and harmony and good to look at, good sim uh, symmetry in the face. That's right. Yeah, that's he's, right. He's, yeah. That's I've been telling them. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So does it no, say anything about my destiny? Your destiny? Well, yeah. Well, obviously, we know you're doing uh, a great job of comedian and helping people. I was so impressed. The Aquarians always help people. Like, there's the song. We do and, help. And, yeah, like, sharing your, your winnings and... You know, going to the troops and stuff like that. It's a very queer, and we want to help society, but in a gentle way of adjusting and fixing little things, like Ben Franklin said, and don't have a whole revolution, but revolutionize ourselves and, and do improvements so everybody's a little bit better. Okay, now I, we're run, we've run out of time. Okay. Can people contact you so they can get a clearer yes, idea? Yes, How do they contact you? How do they got, contact you? We got we didn't even get to like breaking down. The, yeah, that's a lot of fellas want to yeah, know about their yeah. dwad out there. Yeah, and, um, yeah, like fellas can. Yeah, I'll tell them what their dwad is and uh, yeah, how long it is and what yeah. color. Yeah. Damn and it, that's and right. There's a tattoo ask, on it. We yeah. didn't get to ask the questions, you know, about. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to be with Michael for 20 more years or not. Well, well he's he smart. Pay, you he are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, thank you. That's the <laughs> answer right there. Okay. Well, how do they? How do people reach you? Oh, uh, uh, the easiest. My website, astrology one two three four dot com. I like Just that. Astrology one two three four dot com. Yeah. And, and, and there's classes, strong. readings, information. You can just email us, and we'll connect. And are you them. local, Los Angeles? Yeah, I'm. I'm in the in the valley up up down the Ventura Freeway, so I'm okay. over there. But uh, there, look on a meetup for um, valley astrology classes, and also there's other. Just just go to meetup and put in the keyword astrology, and there's lots of classes, more cool. than you think. So just do a little digging and. Well, we've been here with Sean Sikora, who is an astrological master. He will get your dwarf <laughs> straight, and you can contact him. And say it one more time. Astrology. Astrology one, two, three, four dot com. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you, you taking you. the time and waiting around, yeah, being sorry. patient. Thank you. Come oh, back good. in right. Yeah, we'll make me right. have a little bit more time. Yeah. Be thank great. you and thank you and thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank the better you, half. Yeah. We'll be right yeah. back. Gotta go sell a little bit of soap. We'll see you in a minute at LA Talk Live dot com. staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk.